how to edit host file in Windows 10 and how to block domains and subdomains using Windows host file. To edit your host file, the first thing you need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner of your desktop to the taskbar here and left click on the search box. Once done, type the following, this space PC. Once you've done that guys, the best match should be this PC app and what we need to do is open it. So navigate to the right hand side here and left click on open to open up this PC app. Once done, this PC application will open, find your Windows C drive, whichever driver Windows is installed on and select that drive. For me guys, Windows is installed on the C drive hence why it's called Windows C Drive. I'm just going to double click on this to be taken into my C Drive. Next, find the Windows folder. So it's at the bottom for me here, so I'm just going to double click on that. Next, locate System32. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down here until I find System32. It's right here for me, so I'm just going to double click on System32 here. Next, what we need to do is find the folder called Drivers. For me, guys, it's right at the bottom here. So once you've found Drivers, just double click on that folder. And lastly, find the ETC folder which is right at the top for me here. Once you're in the ETC folder, you can see your hosts file at the very top here. To edit your host file, I recommend making a copy of this host file to edit it and then overwrite it later after you have made your changes. So all I'm going to do now guys is restore down the ETC folder here and I'm going to left click on the host file here, right click on it and then left click on copy. Once I've copied it, I'm just going to right click anywhere on my desktop and left click on paste. And there we go, we've got my host file now on my desktop here. To edit the host file, simply right click on it and then go to open with. Windows will then prompt you on how do you want to open this file. You can choose any text editor. I'm going to be going with the notepad text editor here. So simply left click on notepad and then left click on OK. Once you've done that guys, the host file will open in the notepad text editor for you to edit. You can edit this file to your liking and then navigate to where it says file and save to save all your changes. In the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to block domains and subdomains using Windows host file. The first thing I'm going to do is quickly show you how the website looks like and what our connectivity is like with the website that I'm going to be blocking. So I'm just going to minimize my host file here and I'm going to open up my browser. The website I'm going to be blocking today is my own personal website called websplaining.com. So as you can see, it loads perfectly. I'm just going to refresh it here just to show you that it is indeed fully functional and our connectivity is perfect. Now I'm just going to minimize the browser here. Now I'm just going to maximize the host file that we have already open. This is the host file that we copy to our desktop and I'm going to edit the host file to block websplaining.com. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm leaving a space and I'm going to type hash. Now what the hash symbol does or the number symbol basically does is that you can make comments on any line such as this one for example or following any machine name denoted by the hash symbol. Basically it means you can add text with a hash or number sign before any of the text and Windows will ignore that text. It's basically for your own notes so you know exactly what each of your entries in the host file mean. So as you can see I've already typed hash and I'm going to type websplaining personal website block and then I'm going to hit enter. In the next line I'm going to be blocking my website's domain name. To do this type 127.0.0.1 and this is the IP address of localhost. This IP address is basically a loopback address and will block any connection my computer attempts to make to my personal website. As you can see, Windows gives an explanation here. It says local host name resolution is handled within DNS or domain name server itself. Great, so once you've typed in the local host address, type space, and then the name of your domain name. For me, it's websplaining.com. Next, I'm also going to make one more entry, and that is the subdomain name www. for websplaining.com. So all I'm going to do is hit enter here. Again, I'm going to type in the local host address, 127, dot zero dot zero dot one space www.websplaining.com once you have also made your respective entries guys for your domains or subdomain names or both simply save the changes you have made to your host file by navigating to the top left hand corner here to where it says file left click on it and then left click on save once you have done that guys you can close out of your host file you should then be brought back onto your desktop next what we need to do is overwrite the current host file with the host file that we copied onto our desktop and made changes to. To do this, left click on the host file on your desktop, hold 
and drag it into the ETC folder here and let go. Once you've done that, Windows will ask you if you want to replace or skip files. The destination already has a file name named hosts. You have the option to replace the file in the destination, skip this file or compare both. I'm going to be replacing the file in the destination, which basically means it will overwrite the file that already exists there. So I'm just going to left click. Windows will then prompt you with destination folder access denied. You will need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder, etc. And you have the option to left click on continue, skip or cancel. I'm on an admin user for my computer. So all I'm going to do is left click on continue and Windows will overwrite the host file. Great, now I'm just going to go back to the etc folder just to check that the file has indeed been overwritten written with the changes that we have made to the host file. So I'm just going to double click on it, go to notepad and left click on OK. I'm going to scroll all the way down. And as you can see, my personal website, the domain name websplaining.com and the subdomain name www.websplaining.com have been successfully added to the host file. So I'm just going to close out of it now. And all that's left to do now, guys, is to open back up our browser here to be taken back to my personal website, which is websplaining.com. And now if I refresh the page at the top left hand corner here, you can see that my computer will not be able to load websplaining.com. As you can see, it says, this site can't be reached. Websplaining.com refuse to connect and then your browser will give you some troubleshooting advice. When you receive this message guys from your browser, it basically means that the domain name or subdomain names that you're trying to block have indeed been blocked in the Windows host file. And that pretty much concludes the video guys on how to edit host file in Windows 10 and how to block domains and subdomains using Windows host file. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.